Hello, um, I started editing this vlog and realized I either didn't record an introduction or that footage is just lost completely. I, I'm kind of thinking it might be the latter because as you're about to see, the first like footage of me talking to you guys is when I'm nearly done with the book. Um, but I can't, I cannot find it anywhere and... <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. I'm sure I had somewhat interesting things to say, but you're you're about to watch um, my first Anne of Green Gables vlog. So hi, my name's Sam. I'm the teapot. Uh, this is what I was currently reading when I originally started this video, <laughs> and it's nice to see you today. This is the first installment of my Anne of Green Gables reading vlog series that I have been talking about doing for a while. I finally sat down and started doing it with Anne and as you can see she's quite beat up. Um, maybe you can't see it's not really focusing. There we go. And um, I've also got lots of highlights. So you have a lot to look forward to. I will be doing two books per vlog and I'm really excited. I have been eagerly anticipating this series kind of like all year, actually like a year and a half. I feel like it has been a while and super excited to be getting into it. It is the perfect time of year, I think, to be reading it. I love once the weather starts to cool down. I really enjoy springtime and I do enjoy early summer, but autumn and then winter, which is my favorite season, are just cozy all around and the weather is cooling down. The world is shaping back, or I shouldn't say the world, but like nature is shaping back and temperature is shaking, shaping back into the way I really love it. So I hope you join me at least for this video, hopefully all four, hopefully you stick around, that'd be really cool of you. And uh, let us, let us just get into it.
I am ready to go. Nearly done with Anne. I like right here. I think I have like less than 50 pages left. Uh, my goal really today I'm off. Um, I just want to finish it and I'm also going to go to a padding zoo. So I guess, yeah, I'll take you through today. So I really want to finish this. I'm meeting a friend. There's a local petting zoo that I've been meaning to like go to and wanting to go to for a while. I haven't gone since I was really little, but I love petting zoos and I just like haven't been feeling super like well in the head lately. And I'm hoping like the animal interaction will be really positive. So we're going to do that. And I think we're going to do like a little picnic. I'm just bringing like snack food for myself. And um, while I'm there, because I hate leaving Tank alone, I'm actually going to be dropping him off at doggy daycare. He has a little evaluation to see if he gets along well there, if he likes other dogs. This isn't really a long-term like solution. We just think it would be nice if he had a place he could go play with other dogs because he loves, he loves playing with other dogs. Like we're on a walk, he sees a dog, that's it, game over. He has to go play with them. And this is like, we're hoping it goes well because we think he needs that interaction. And then it's just gonna be coming home and having hopefully a chill afternoon slash evening. Um, this is my top priority though. I really wanna finish it before I go. I am really enjoying it. It is definitely a slow book, not just cause I'm annotating it, but it's just taking me a while. I, I am really enjoying it. I feel very, comfortable when I'm reading it and I find myself smiling quite a bit during the story. I'm I'm surprised at how much I'm just like genuinely happy while I'm reading it. It definitely has a lot of those childhood vibes that I've been kind of after in a book for a while and it also just I think all the nature and descriptions of Prince Edward's Island are also just really calming and relaxing and just nice to enjoy. So Yeah, big fan of this one so far. Um, I don't think it's like a five star read, but definitely four stars. You vibing too, man.
All right, the um, <laughs> the petting zoo was was fun. Um, definitely a nostalgic place to be. Uh, the goats were so cute, and there was actually a little kitty cat that we got a pet and everything, <laughs> which was a gem. Tank did so well at doggy daycare. It was just his valuation. They said he passed with flying colors, and he's invited back anytime. So so happy for him. I did not finish Anne of Green Gables before I left though, so I'm going to do that now, and or at least try to do that now. Um, and then just, I don't know, I need like, I need like, my anxiety has been kind of rough today. I think I need to just like watch Gilmore Girls for the rest of the night and just not think about anything at all. So that might be the goal. <laughs> I've just finished it. Um, it was, it was, it was really good. There were a, a lot of emotions towards the end of this book. Um, I, I've also, I'm on the fourth highlighter. I feel like that's important to mention that for such a tiny book, it, it is, it's hit the fourth highlighter. <laughs> I really wanted to make it through just three. Um, wasn't expecting to have to buy more highlighters but I definitely will now but I loved it I as I was reaching the end especially the Queen's College chapters I like took a moment and like stepped back almost from the text and it is it is very hard I think to 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 realize while I was reading this how much time was passing and how many things were actually happening in the book because it didn't feel like that many things were happening but like the closer I got to the end and the older Anne got the more it just felt like it had been like a whole series of books and like hundreds of pages long and that made it even harder to like tear away from it uh so good thing there are seven other books um because if this was the end the end i would feel so heartbroken to say goodbye to these characters and particularly to anne who i just absolutely love uh, I also wanted to share before I put this book away, I wanted to share just a quote that I absolutely loved. Um, there were a lot of really, really great quotes. This one, um, it's on page 303, so it's like one of the last pages. And I just, I loved it. I loved this quote. I shall give life here my best, and I believe it will give its best to me in return. When I left Queens, my future seemed to stretch out before me like a straight road. I thought I could see along it for many a milestone. Now there's a bend in it. I don't know what lies around the bend, but I am going to believe that the best does. It has a fascination of its own, that bend. I wonder how the road beyond it goes. What there is of green glory and soft checkered light and shadows. What new landscapes, what new beauties, what curves and hills and valleys further on. And I just, I love that. I'm going to try to take that with me into the future, that quote, that sentiment, and just try to hold on to it um, because... I really, really like that turn of thought quite a bit. Oh yeah, Anne of Green Gables, four stars to this one. Um, book two is called Anne of Avonlea. So let's go.
Um, uh, I haven't, I haven't really updated you, and I'm so sorry about that. I, I not only started book two, but I am pretty far into. <laughs> um, I've been really stressed over work lately. I've been bouncing between feeling really good about work and like the job and like really competent and secure and um I've been bouncing between that and coming up against like a lot of roadblocks that make me feel insecure and anxious and just kind of trigger fight or flight responses lately I've been trying to take a lot of a lot of advice from Anne because it's I mean, I, I did want to like sit down and go through some of my favorite quotes, but there are just so many wonderful ones about persevering and making the most of like situations, which I feel like explaining it that way almost lessens how great some of these quotes are like at the end of um, book one what Anne had been planning to do with her life ended up changing because of circumstances she could not control and her response to that was I thought I could some, I'm paraphrasing um, I thought I could see like the long road in front of me of my future and now I see that there is a bend and I can't see past it and I am just so excited to see that bend um, like what, what might come after and I really love that idea and I really love a lot of just the sentiment that Anne has about embracing life <laughs> as it is basically. Um, this has been like I, I think for this time in my life and just like the high levels of stress and the major life changes I've been doing this has been probably the perfect series to meet me there. Book two though, book two, Anne of Avonlea, she's much older. I am enjoying book two so much more than book one. Book one I enjoyed, but book two I'm loving. I think partly because she's older and I can connect with her a little bit more. Um, she also, not to be like Anne was annoying in book one, but she was a little annoying in book one. I think because I'm not a big fan of super talkative protagonists and literature but I just found Anne a little annoying in book one and I I just thought that it felt more I mean this one is definitely sort of episodic like every chapter could kind of stand on its own but a little less so and I think that it's not necessarily the same formula in every chapter yes Anne still gets into sort of like funny situations but it's not like all a lesson for her and I like that we have chapters that focus on seeing other characters get into scrapes and have and sort of reflect on that and not necessarily like learn from it but be like I get it you know like be very understanding and I really like Marilla in this book a lot more I think she's been through a lot and she's definitely sort of softened <laughs> in this book I'm reading it a lot faster than I thought I would I read my goal is always to read at least 15 pages a day so that I would finish it in about 20 days I know my goal is normally like 10 book or a book every 10 days but um because I drive so far to work I listen to audiobooks so I've listened to a lot of audiobooks my wrap-up at the end of this season is going to be massive because of how many audiobooks I've listened to like this week alone I'm on the third one <laughs> um so so I, I gave myself a little like extra time to read and because I knew it would you know with work take a little extra I have a lot less free time today is the first day of fall which is super exciting I mean the weather is perfect it's here fall is such a good time of the year it's not my favorite time of the year but it is such a good time of the year and it brings me so much joy and and calm because I can wear sleeves uh, I hate wearing short sleeves it is just something I have hated for a very long time partly like body image issues but also just I feel like my arms are always itchy and then like sleeves they feel like like cradled I guess 
um i like that like feeling of being like wrapped up with sleeves so i'm very excited to be back in like sweater season i looked at the weather it does not look like we're gonna have another hot day for the rest of the year which i'm stoked about there are some like low 70s but they're like low 70 at their highs and it's mostly like in the 60s moving forward which is just so exciting i will be probably moving my bed soon Speaking of cleaning, I have been working on cleaning out my car because my car's a mess. I've let it get like really messy. It's a stress response and for me in general is to like let space become messy. Um, I don't know if you can tell. I don't think it's showing up in the camera so that's really good. But the car is covered in dog hair <laughs> because tank and I need to definitely like dust it out. I have to clean out the back seat which it's not terrible. It'll take like 15 minutes and I'm off tomorrow. I'm going to do so much reading. Uh, first day of fall, very exciting. Work, very stressful. Book, pretty good. I'm really enjoying it. Really happy to be reading it. Um, so I, I have more time today than I thought I would have, um, which is good. I'm really excited about that fact. Like it's a really positive fact and I am feeling, I'm feeling motivated, which is also a very positive fact and not something that happens super often on days off. But I, I think cause I just naturally woke up early and didn't need the extra sleep. I'm feeling really good. I am going to rearrange my room. I'm going to do the big clean. I'm going to rearrange bookcases. Um, I'm gonna flip you so you can see what I'm going to be doing. So I do this every time the seasons change. This is my like summer, um, spring, summer layout. The bed goes through the middle so the air conditioner can go in the window. Um, but it is fall and it feels like fall and it's not really gonna get hot again. There's a couple days in early October that are a little warmer, but they don't, they're not gonna be humid. So they should be okay. I'm not super concerned. So, this have to get rid of this first um i'm gonna take i have to clean up the floor um i'm gonna do that and then i'm going to take that out i'm sorry it's not focusing correctly it's fine um and then um it's going to be about basically taking everything that's under the bed because i use storage down here and moving it um and then moving the bed and like turning it so that's always the hardest part because I just need like space for this stuff. I'll probably just put it in the hallway for now in like piles, but yeah, I'm gonna move it. It should only take a couple hours. Um, honestly, it will probably take like three hours if we're being realistic. Um, and then I am doing it. I'm doing it because I am insane. I'm going to redo my bookcases. So I am going to get some shelves for up here at some point, I don't know when. Um, I'm waiting for the particular ones I want to come back and stock at Ikea. They're um, children's, children like proof shelves. So I'm not super concerned about them falling on me. Um, they don't hold a lot of space, but they, they will go up here. Um, until then, I am going to just like redo the shelves as best I can. Um, here's what I'm thinking, and this might change. Fairy tales, like um, folklore fairy tales, like retelling, that kind of stuff. This will probably stay mostly the same, but I'm gonna move this shelf down. Um, I'm probably like this shelf up and put something else here. Um, maybe this shelf that's like down here. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure what this is gonna be. This will be spillover. So like the fake for fa bleh, folklore fairy tale retelling that stuff, like spilling over and then fantasy spilling from this way because this shelf, which is already kind of there, but it's going to even more so become fantasy. And I'm not sure how I'm going to organize it yet, um, but it's going to be fantasy. This shelf, I'm still debating. It's right now it's kind of the lit shelf. I want this to be the lit shelf and this to be the sci-fi shelf, but I don't know like size wise if that will work. So we're really going to play with it. And I would like to have like a sort of like theme for each shelf or like an anchor series or book for each shelf. So I don't know exactly how it's going to be. This might end up being like dark fantasy. I don't know. Um, but that's how it's going to be. 
for the rest of the day I'll basically be cleaning uh which is fun fine kind of exciting I've started watching the Vampire Academy show on Peacock it's okay it's fine I'm not like gaga over it which is you know um I do have to pick up my brother from the train station uh very soon so I'll be doing that um and run like another errand while I'm out and then uh, I'll be coming back and continuing to clean and I also might finish Anne of Avonlea today if I do we'll talk about it um I don't know I might uh it's kind of exciting and scary to be like oh it's over <laughs> I'm really enjoying this one I'm enjoying it far more than book one um I'm loving it this is it's becoming one of my favorite books just like across the board I was actually about to settle in um with a book but before I do I did want to just show you how I ended up doing the room and the bookcases because it took like all like the rest of the day Friday after I talked to you um, and I worked yesterday and didn't really have time to myself, um, but I have just been enjoying them. So I have all this space now, which is just <laughs> fantastic. The socks are there because my dog likes them and I keep like games under my bed if you were curious. I do still have these piles of books. That's not going to change. Um, but I have all this space now, which just always feels great. The bed is against the window, my classics, um, more piles. Uh, but I did kind of theme it. We have, this is sort of more traditional fantasy for the most part. And I still have my arcs down there. I haven't really touched that. Um, but I've got some favorites, some I haven't read on there. Um... I did kind of do like fairy tales bleeding into like other kind of stuff didn't fit anywhere. I just kind of smushed it, you know, like they're um, kind of urban fantasy and other types of epic stories. A new adult, um, Dresden didn't move. This is sci-fi. That stayed. Um, I have those piles for now. They're temporary. And we have like literature um, and like uh, dark academia up here. Um, it's a kind of a mix, um, but I didn't feel the need to keep like authors together with this design. Um, and I kind of liked the splitting. I mean, some authors kind of stayed together, but for the most part, it was just like series together and vibes together. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Um, it's brought me a lot of joy, just the simple act of like reorganizing and cleaning. Uh, and yes, you will get an official bookshelf tour. Um, but I know, I already know when it's going to be released and it's, uh, it's going to be a little bit for you guys. It'll come on a very specific day as sort of a treat. Yeah, you're definitely not on the sturdiest thing. You're literally on some pillows right now. So I'm going to apologize now for the wobble. I will try to take the wobbliness out and post. Hi. <laughs> Hi. And uh, this is, this is kind of going to be the goodbye. I just wanted to go through some of my favorite quotes from these two books before I closed up are closed off the video for today um, and some final thoughts because I did finish Anne of Avonlea and I finished it at work which I really didn't want to do because I wanted to really be able to sit and reflect on it once I was done which lunchtime at work not a lot of reflection time um so I I just I didn't really get to do that. What it really boils down to, I think, is that this book just came at the right time for me. I liked Anne of Green Gables. I loved Anne of Avonlea. I don't know if it's because she's older in this book that made it a little easier to connect with her. I do know that the fact that so much of her life at this point in the novel is about change. She starts a new job. She, she is surrounded by friends and by people who especially at the end of this book are all going on to new parts of their life she's entering into a new part of her life and there are just it was so many moments where I felt so just grateful to have these words keeping me company during a time of major change in my own life and I like started like tearing up multiple times while reading this one I did enjoy Anne of Green Gables I thought it was good um, this one though, I think is just like far above of this one. Um, I did, I want a couple things before we get into like favorite quotes. Like, and what is going on with this eyebrow? I know I look kind of crap in this like light, but, um, we're just vibing. We're cozy. It's laundry day. Um, 
I bought these specific editions so that I could like be kind of rough with them and I feel like I just like there's it's even like slanted I don't know if I could like show you how slanted like this would be what it looks like straight when the spine is straight but it's got the curve there um it's the same with with this one it, they're just beat up and I really I'm I'm pleased with how these look um, they're always going to look like well loved, which most of my books I don't want to look that way, but these I'm happy with and I have other editions. I also have been highlighting and annotating. I went through three full markers and I started on a fourth for this one and I think this one was just three, so really something soothing there. I want to just go through some favorite quotes before uh, we say goodbye to these books, but you'll see me soon. We'll, I'll be reading um, books three and four in the next Anne of Green Gables vlog. So um, don't worry; these are these are going to continue, and I've I've lots to say. Um, but let's let's just see if we can find some of them. I feel like a lot of the really good quotes come at the end of chapters. Oh, we're gonna go backwards because it's easier to flip this way. But this is from. Um, the final chapter of Anne of Green Gables um, and it's after Anne has uh, told Morella that she'll be staying with Morella at Green Gables. Um, they don't need to sell the house. Um, Anne will be there with her helping take care of her, reading to her, helping her do the work around the house and she gave up her prestigious scholarship to continue on to college to stay with her and Morella says, Anne you can't throw your life away from me and this is basically Anne's response. I shall give life here my best, and I believe it will give its best to me in return. When I left Queens, my future seemed to stretch out before me like a straight road. I thought I could see along it for a many a milestone. Now there is a bend in it. I don't know what lies around the bend, but I'm going to believe that the best does. It has a fascination of its own, that bend. I wonder how the road beyond it goes, what there is of the green glory and soft checkered light and shadows, what new landscapes, what new beauties, what curves and hills and valleys further on. Trying to take that sort of sense and um, energy into my life moving forward, especially right now. I've, I've just, I've, I've loved this idea and I like that the next book kind of continues on with that sort of bend in the road energy. And they do bring it up quite a few times. A lot of these quotes are just like beautiful descriptions, which I could just forever and ever quote. No, I'm not finding any of the ones I was thinking of. Oh, here's a little bit. Um, this is from chapter um, 28. Uh, and I'm going to kind of just splice it up. But I just, I really liked the idea of it. And I believe it's Matthew talking to Anne. Yeah. Don't give up all your romance. A little of it is a good thing. Keep a little of it. I like that. Um, and I, I've, I've actually tried to start thinking of things that they may not be perfect um, scenarios, but I try to find like the romance in the moments. Um, like the other day when I was driving home because I get home so late, it is, it's going to be dark. And I, I actually, I like it getting dark earlier, but I was sort of, I guess, like just in a bit of a bad mood. And I, I stopped and I was like, you know, there's something romantic about the highway at night. Anne would appreciate this. So I was like, I can appreciate this. I do appreciate this. Um, so I'm trying to, to have that sort of mindset. I don't know. I'm not finding the ones in this book that I'm thinking of. So we're going to go to this one and see if I have a little more luck finding them. Oh, starting in the end. Okay, this is like the final page. I, I mean, this just makes me happy. I don't know if it's like profound, but it makes me happy. Perhaps after all, romance did not come into one's life with pomp and blare like a gay knight riding down. Perhaps it crept to one side like an old friend through quiet ways. Perhaps it revealed itself in seeming prose until some sudden shaft of illumination flung athwart its pages, betrayed the rhythm and the music. Perhaps, perhaps love unfolded naturally out of a beautiful friendship as a golden hearted rose slipping from its green sheath. Really, I, I I do I do love I love them. Um, 
I in general really like what this book was saying about like the difference between poetry and prose not like the literal difference but how you can look at something and see and 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 think of it in poetry um and you can also look at something and see it in prose and how that's different um while also like being the same thing and I just <laughs> I really liked that and again I think it's like that mindset like view the world in poetry and you'll be happier more content you know or if not more content like you'll have I think a better experience of life this one this is also from the final chapter chapter 30 um and it is on the first page and I read this chapter at work and I was at a different location than I normally am and like nearly started crying the old order was changing rapidly to give place to the new, as Anne felt with a little sadness threading all her excitement and happiness. Changes ain't totally pleasant, but they're excellent things, said Mr. Harrison philosophically. Two years is about long enough for things to stay exactly the same. If they stay put any longer, they might grow mossy. And like two, two and a half years was pretty much how long I was at my old position, at my old um location and like he's right it, it's right like two years is a long time um and it, it it just it reminded me of why I needed to leave even though I'm kind of in just <laughs> this very stressful now sort of mental position um it it made me just really emotional to to see it so plainly here in the text um, I did, I, um, I, I started crying a little bit and I was like, oh shit, <laughs> um, not at work, Sam. Oh, this is, they're talking about, um, Miss Lavender and Stephen Irving's, um, impending marriage. And Anne says, oh, or Anne starts crying and Charlotta the fourth says, why are you crying? And Anne says, oh, because it's all so beautiful and storybookish and romantic and sad. It's all perfectly lovely, but there's a little sadness mixed up in it too. Like, I think it's it's one of those things, like, again, changes. Um, and just the happiest moments are always touched by some sort of sadness feeling, um, I think. Here's another, there are a lot of these quotes that like really struck me um are about change <laughs> um, another chapter in my life is closed said Anne aloud as she locked her desk she really felt very sad over it but the romance and the idea that a closed chapter did comfort her a little again trying to find that romance in life okay I'm not I'm not finding them all but that's okay I shared some that I really did love with you so I'm happy about that um I'm I'm happy to be picking these up right now at this point in my life and I am very happy to be sharing these with and my experiences with these with all of you so thank you for watching and hanging around I will definitely be posting um the next vlog about these two uh, when I finish reading um books three and four I am going to be doing one vlog video for every two books and there are eight of these so there will be four total it will probably take me well through autumn, maybe into winter. I do have a couple other little vloggy type videos planned. They're just kind of offshoots to these guys. These are the main attraction of my reading life for basically the rest of the year. And I just want to say thank you if you're here, if you're planning to stick around and watch and follow through. Thank you so much. If you liked this content and you want to see more like it, definitely consider subscribing. I post every Thursday and hopefully once the holiday season starts, I will be posting twice a month. So you'll get to see my lovely face <laughs> a little more often. I have a lot of videos I really want to make. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for being here, especially if you're a subscriber. It means the world to me. I know I'm not always most prompt about getting to comments, but... I I read them, I kind of cradle them against my heart and think about them even if I don't respond promptly because I'm, it's hard. 
uh, thank you for watching. If you're somewhere warm, I hope you're staying comfortable. If you're somewhere cold, I hope you're staying warm. Most of all, I hope you are reading a great book. I will see you guys next time. Bye.